Well, a very warm welcome to Christchurch Daily Reflection. I'm Terence Rassoff, and today we're looking at Psalm 146. Psalm 146, and I've given it the title, Who Do We Depend On? Who Do We Depend On? Well, I was reminded of this psalm last week as I listened to news about the rising cases of the Indian variant of COVID-19 in the UK and the threat that this now posed to the lifting of sanctions on the June the 21st, which we're all so looking forward to. And what struck me as I listened was how, as a nation, we've become so dependent on every pronouncement of our political leaders. All our hopes, our mood, our plans seem to hinge on our leaders and their advisers and their state of mind. Now, of course, they're doing their best in incredibly difficult circumstances. But like all of us, they are fallible. And yet we can develop a misplaced dependency. We can rely on false hopes. And that's why I think Psalm 146 is such a great place to turn to in times of uncertainty. Now, this psalm is one of the five hallelujah psalms at the end of the book of Psalms. It starts and ends with praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. And with very good reason. For it's a psalm of contrast. It contrasts the pointlessness of trusting in and depending on ultimately powerless humans versus placing our dependency on an unchanging, trustworthy God who is forever faithful. Verses three to five say this. Do not put your trust in princes, in human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. And the psalmist then goes on to recount concrete reasons why we can trust in God. He reflects on God's goodness and character. He's the creator and sustainer of life. He remains forever faithful. He cares for and upholds all who are in need and vulnerable, be they hungry, blind, imprisoned, widowed, or just bowed down. And he reigns forever. And there's a real confident tone to the psalmist's faith. But it's not a naive optimism. Rather, it's a mature, forward-looking faith based on how God has acted in the past. And it's a psalm to come back to, I think, when we're struggling. It's a psalm to help us get things in the right perspective. Perhaps people are disappointing us or letting us down. Perhaps people have given us false hopes. Perhaps we're worried at what the pandemic means for our families and the nation. And these are all, of course, very legitimate concerns. But we're not to pin all our hopes on humans. Rather, we're to trust in the character of the sovereign God as ultimately he's the only person to rely on and depend on because he's always faithful and present. When I'm in difficulty or facing uncertainty or being let down by others, I like to try and recall how the Lord has looked out for me in the past and guided my path. I think it was one of the best bits of spiritual guidance I was given when I first became a Christian. And it doesn't necessarily resolve the immediate issue at hand, of course, but it does strengthen my faith to trust God, even if in the moment he seems like hidden behind a cloud. So today, why not just reflect on and thank God for the times he's been at work in your life? Because it's such a great way of building a deeper trust for the future. For as the psalmist writes, God is forever faithful, verse 6, and reigns forever, verse 10. And it's why he starts and ends with hallelujah. And there's a lovely worship song, which I think really captures the essence of this psalm. It's Faithful One, So Unchanging by Brian Dawkson. And it goes like this. Faithful One, So Unchanging. Ageless One, You're My Rock of Peace. Lord of all, I depend on you. I called out to you again and again. I called out to you again and again. You are my rock in times of trouble. You lift me up 
when I fall down. All through the storm, your love is the anchor. My hope is in you alone. And if you're wondering the tune, it's faithful one, so unchanging. Ageless one, you're my rock of peace. Lord of all, I depend on you. We don't want to hear me singing it. Why not go and just go on YouTube and pick a version by a good worship leader and just enjoy this lovely song, this lovely uh, song. And just like the psalmist, reflect on God's unchanging character and faithfulness. He's the sure one that we can depend on. So have do have a blessed day.